Thank you to Vessi for sponsoring today's video. Vessies are the perfect shoe for whatever adventures you have planned. Vessies are 100% waterproof and will have your feet dry in the wettest of weather. They are comfortable and stylish enough to wear every day. This sneaker will change your life. They are made from a dual knit material called Dymatex, which keeps you warm in the winter and cool in the summer, and they don't even feel like they should be waterproof. They are functional and lightweight, which makes them the perfect sneaker for traveling. They are sustainably made with less material waste due to the knitting process, less water waste, and no animal byproducts, so they are 100% vegan. The antibacterial insoles keep things fresh while the cloud-like cushioning keeps things comfy. They are perfect for all seasons, rain or shine. On rainy days, your socks will stay completely dry as you walk through puddles, wet grass, or even snow. Vessies have saved my feet from wet, soggy socks on many occasions. Check Vessi out in the link below and use our code RPR to get $25 off your Vessi shoes. After Cheyenne and Christian's wedding was over, Cedar and I were overdue for a vacation. So we grabbed our neighbors and BFFs, Mindy and Terrell with Busted Wagon Ranch, and we went up to Cody, Wyoming. We went and drove through Yellowstone, and we had a wonderful time kind of soaking in uh, our history of the West. And it was, it was a blast. It was one of the funnest trips we've had in a while. Uh, but now it's time to get back to normal. If you were one of those people that responded to my email a couple weeks back about coming up and working on the fence with me, you're going to get an email from me and you need to respond to me as soon as you can because this is the week that we're going to get that done. But like I said, it's time to get back to normal. So from now on, you're going to see our videos back on their normal cycles of Thursday night and Sunday nights. And we're going to get the house finished up. Then we're going to dive into some of the bigger projects that we've been waiting to get to this summer. We hope you guys are well. On the road, headed back to New Orleans Driving in the country, past old timey scene Big birds were singing in the tall willow trees Mighty fine Three words written on the paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black Thrown in a van Two thousand miles back A better time And how many souls And times that I've told The places that I want to be And how many days Long coat walking on a New York street. A pack of crushed cigarettes that fell to her feet. Well, ain't it odd how some people get some meet. ideas for some projects? Well, that's the truth. Right There's a baby in Two pictures buried in guitar. Probably, probably not for us. Underneath the music sheets all over the place I caught a glimpse of the sweetest girl's face I ever knew And how many 
souls and times that I've told the places that had lacked to be and how many days when I could have stayed instead of just getting up to leave and giving we make time I'll meet you down If they never seem to come or to go well, Find me in your memories To keep you from getting so low And given we make time I'll meet you down the line Down the land, we'll meet up down the land. Down the land, Did he just take a shot at me? No, it's me, Mom. Yeah, I feel like he just took a shot at me. They don't have holiday decor in there. We were doing so good. He hadn't mentioned the shop one time the entire weekend.
She practices piano on her thigh Imagining the keys inside her mind Does she notice The things I notice But I'm here, I'm here. Won't she turn around? Won't she look at me? So you think you fixed it now? I think, can we try it one more time? I, I can twist the wires together, okay? I'm going to... <laughs> Sid! Sid!
It has been raining for over three days straight. We probably got three to five inches of rain. It's supposed to rain the rest of the day. So either I clean the shop and stay out of the rain or I work on the board and batten siding. I think I'm gonna work on the siding. Ruby says, let's get outside. Let's do something. Let's go for a drive. The front porch is officially finished and it's time to get the board and batten siding finished as well. We've had a significant rainstorm in the last week and the roof didn't leak so now it's time to get the board and batten siding under the roof finished up for good. By putting the inch and a half flat strap down first, I can secure the strap to every stud along the wall. By having the strap behind the board and batten siding, it means that I can secure the board and batten siding to the quarter inch strap, and I don't need to be concerned about where the studs are. I have found that this secures the board and batten siding much better than any other way I have found thus far. This is all of the wood that I have left that is usable. That means that I have to make all of this wood work all the way across the front of the house. If I don't do this, I fear the transition between the old wood and the new wood is going to be too obvious for my liking. So my hope is that I have enough wood. We're about to find out. At this exact moment, Cheyenne's wedding is over and Cedar and I are back from our vacation from Yellowstone and Cody, Wyoming. 
And I must say, I feel quite enthused and excited about the future after spending a few days there. While on my vacation, I was reminded that this country that I love so much is not made up of corrupt politicians as much as it's made up of blue collar, red blooded Americans just trying to find the best way to live their life. I listened to the national anthem once and I said the Pledge of Allegiance twice while I was there and I got emotional every single time. I was reminded that I'm proud to be an American for the right reasons and that the American dream is still out there and worth the pursuit if we're willing to do the work.
Okay, so summer garden, it's time to get that in. It's after June, we've had a lot of um, snow and rain and whatever, and with Cheyenne's wedding coming up, I needed some help. And so I met Dixie, and she's become one of my favorite people on Hi. the planet. And she's super smart at gardening, and so she's gonna help me whip my garden boxes into shape before the wedding. Yep. And she's gonna teach me what she knows. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's so, do it. Tell me what I should do now. What should, where should I start? Okay, first? so we have um, 15 garden boxes here. They're all little raised beds, which are perfect. And we're going to amend the soil just a little bit. Um, and then we're going to just start seeding in some, and then we'll put some uh, starts in, in in a couple days. Okay. Okay. So um, over the winter, I did, took the ashes from the fireplace and I put them in the boxes. And um, tell us more about that. Like, so potash is a really good way to kind of amend your soil, but if you get too much in there, it's going to kind of work backwards. So we're going to take out a little bit of that, put in some soil conditioner, and put in some raised bed soil, and we should be good to go. Okay. All right. Let's okay. get to work. <laughs> All right. So this is going to I need to get yeah. a shovel. Yeah, we'll just take this kind of stuff. Maybe just a top oh, layer. You are strong. It's really heavy. <laughs> it's, heavy. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that one is kind of a beast. <laughs> All right, okay, so, so I'm just going to rake this. A couple of weeks ago, I called our friend Dixie, who is a master gardener, and I asked her if she would be interested in being on a bi weekly video about gardening with cedar. She said she would love to. So, Cedar and Dixie have agreed to do a video on our garden every two weeks for the rest of the summer. I'm super excited to see what they can do without the greenhouse this year, and I will be watching close myself. Dixie brought her mom and kids up on the first trip while Cedar and Dixie got the garden planted. With all the crazy stuff that we had going on this summer, like Rhett's graduation, Cheyenne and Christian's wedding, we thought it would be smart to bring in somebody that actually knows what's going on and can help us best utilize our garden and get the absolute most that we can get out of it this year, in spite of our elevation and our climate. And Dixie is just the person to help with this. Yeah, that was fun. So, okay, was, so what we, we did. did was we planted everything that we could by seed, and then we're gonna put in some starts mm, this weekend. Yeah, probably after the wedding. <laughs> so, we planted what did we plant? Spinach, beets, carrots, and lettuce. Is that it? But we've got the soil amended, we've got a good watering system down, we got everything that we needed in. I think it's gonna be so fun. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be great. come up in about five days, and you're gonna be. Thrilled. Oh, that's so nice. It's got fun. lots of love. We use lots of love we planting. We did. It. So lots love of love. It. And we're going to prey on it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Keep all the animals out. Yeah. Well, and good. For good weather. So.